We're back with the stars of the new movie, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, uh -huh. Erica Ferrer and Jade Baruchel. Yeah, this is the third, and they say the final film of this beloved franchise. We'll bringing, see about that. <laughs> bringing together their characters, Astrid and Hiccup, one more time. Take a look. You are the bravest, most stubborn, most determined knucklehead I know. Toothless didn't give you that hiccup. He just made it easier. And now it's going to be a lot harder. So, what are you going to do about it? Probably something stupid. That's the hiccup I know. Oh my god, oh my sweet. Gosh. Why, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> What's oh happening? Gosh. What is happening? I thought you said we needed tissues because it was flu season a minute ago over there. <laughs> but this is like a tearjerker. This really is? It That's is. Right. I cried for sure. But I couldn't tell if that was because of what was happening or because it hit me that this these characters that we've been voicing for tw almost 12 years yeah. were saying goodbye to you. Did you guys actually kiss on that? I heard, I felt, I heard, yeah. I heard the kiss. How did that happen? How did they record We that? never saw each other in no, the entire No, we didn't spin. record once together on Best this one. Best gig this ever. <laughs> the first time we're meeting each other. Yeah. Right yeah. Yeah. Right she here. seems lovely. <laughs> so this is the last one. Yeah, when you heard of, that this was going to be it, yeah. what did you guys think? Because this thing you felt like could have gone on forever. Yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, all good things must come yeah. to an end. And uh, I think it's most important is that we end the right way. And, yeah. and I think that if you get to the ending of this movie, uh, this is the ending that our characters and our fans deserve. Um, but it's, yeah, inherently a bit melancholy. But you guys have been doing these characters. I didn't know this was a TV show. Yes. Yeah. And you had done the original voices for these characters then. So. Yeah. yeah, six seasons of a TV show and three movies later. So back on TV season one, did you ever imagine that this thing would turn into such a like a juggernaut that it is? And what was it about it that, that you think yeah. caught people? I mean, I think it's kind of hard to anticipate something becoming a global phenomenon. Yeah. yeah. We, we believed it was good. Yeah. You... you can never know what the life it, it, that it's going to have is. But I think personally what makes these films so amazing is that there's so much heart and depth and there's always an incredible story at the at the core yeah, of it right. and message really as a as a grown up i love watching these movies but i also can't wait till my son is old enough to right. discover these because of the the stories that it tells and the messages that each film has be proud just, of the work yeah. yeah you guys are both great actors i do radio i was doing radio yesterday i was in sweats and a t-shirt with spaghetti sauce on it i mean <laughs> it really is fantastic this as a gig for an actor carson is this a cry for help the voiceover no I'm, how can i get in on this yes <laughs> what is the process like yeah. for you in the booth and how does it all work yeah uh like six times a year for about three years we go in for like these little hour and a half two hour sessions and then at the end of three years uh we're in this it's movie that much time. <laughs> that's is it multiple amazing. takes like when you're on set on camera is it the same sort of thing yeah. Yeah, run it back Do it again. yeah more or less we kind of riff we just follow our director and and it's actually like i dig it because uh, I don't have to worry about anything else. I'm not yeah. going to have makeup or wardrobe Air, or a bunch yeah. of people staring. It's kind of pure. It's just yeah. the microphone and the script and the director, you know? America, you talked about your your son growing up to see this. So how old is he now? He's, He's nine months now. He's oh, nine wow. months already? I know. I know. <gasps> what are you noticing about how the, how he's changing? I mean... I mean, I have mommy goggles on, so everything is so awesome. Yesterday, he pulled himself up in his crib for the first oh time. Oh, my God. And I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, my gosh, pray for me. This child is about <laughs> to get more mobile. But he's amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm, we're so happy and... Um, yeah, it's, it's wonderful. And it's wonderful to have, you know, the next generation. I knew that by the time we were done with these movies, I would have at least one child. And, right. and here we are. <laughs> Look at it. it worked out just yeah. right. Well, you guys, thank you for hanging with us. And congrats on the series. Yeah, and congratulations. It, you know, thank you. Happy you all came to see us. Maybe one more. Maybe just one more. Like boxing. You can never really close the door. <laughs> That's it. How, uh, above we all know our pay one. grade. Right. right yeah. well. How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, from our sister company, DreamWorks and Universal Pictures, hits theaters on Friday. And you can Catch America on one of my favorites. Superstore. Superstore is so funny, which returns to NBC Thursday, March 7th.